Namaste. I'm Vidhi Salla. Welcome to the third screening of Vidhi's Bollywood Film Club. The movie for this month is English Winglish, directed by Gauri Shinde, released in the year 2012. English Winglish is the enduring tale of Shashi Godbole, who secretly enrolls for a basic English speaking course on her month long trip to New York City. Shashi represents countless Indian homemakers who feel lost in urban India due to their lack of proficiency in the English language. In India, the primary medium of education in government run schools is in regional languages, and private schools by default teach in the English medium. A vast majority of Indians living in tier 2 cities, that is, smaller cities, metros, and rural areas, get educated in government run schools. English language courses in these schools are offered as an option, and not many pupils opt for them due to various reasons. One key reason is that parents prefer that their children learn to speak their mother tongue before they learn English or any other language. As a result, a lot of children are unable to grasp spoken English in their nascent years. Women further miss out due to the complete lack of importance given to their education, and some of them are unable to complete even their matriculation. Shashi evidently belongs to the generation of women whose parents prefer to educate their children in vernacular medium schools. After marriage, Shashi willingly assumes household responsibilities, but when her kids grow up, she feels alienated from their world. Shashi is an efficient homemaker, a competent entrepreneur, but a series of really targeted, humiliating instances make her feel inadequate due to her lack of English proficiency. Whether it's her daughter's embarrassment at bringing her mother to her convent school or her husband mocking Shashi's English accent, the seemingly harmless incidents are deeply hurtful for Shashi. A fateful trip to America, the proverbial land of freedom, is where Shashi learns not only how to speak basic English, but also to feel confident about herself the way she is. English Winglish, the title, alludes to the linguistic habit in India of attaching a rhyming made up word to an existing one. For example, coffee woffy, sugar wooger, coarse bores, talk shock, etc. English Winglish is director Gauri Shinde's debut film. In an interview, she mentioned that the film is a way of saying thank you and sorry to her mother, who is a successful business person that sells homemade pickles, but she always felt underconfident because she couldn't speak English. Shinde said she wanted to make a film that highlights the sens- insensitivity and discrimination towards non English speakers in India and their lack of confidence as a result. The film has a very strong colonial subtext. After all, the English language and the obsession with teaching spoken English was introduced to India through our British colonizers. Urban India has a high percentage of convent schools run by Christian missionaries, like the one shown in the film where Shashi's daughter studies. Most telling is the airport scene where Shashi is flying to the US for the first time when the fellow passenger advises Shashi to not get intimidated by these people, implying the English speaking border security officer. It's hard to shake off deeply rooted colonial conditioning and it manifests itself into the cinema of formerly colonized countries. Sri Devi, the actor who played Shashi, unfortunately passed away three years ago. English Winglish was her comeback film. She had returned to the screen after 15 years. In her heydays, Sri Devi had an image that was super glamorous on screen and that was turned around completely in English Winglish. She did complete justice to the part of the dutiful wife and an eager student. If you're familiar with the British sitcom Mind Your Language from the 1970s, you will notice the parallels with the sitcom in the scenes 
where Shashi is interacting with her various classmates in the English speaking class. There was an Indian remake of the sitcom in the 90s called Zaban Sambhal Ke that most Indians recall fondly. English Vinglish is a story that speaks volumes about our language prejudices without spelling it out to the audiences. It's one of my most favorite films. I chose it for the month of March because we celebrate International Women's Day. While it is important to fight for women's liberation, reforms and equal status on the macro level, it is equally important to rejoice the small victories and instill confidence in the women that are in immediate contact with us. In her quest to conform into modern society, Shashi actually proves that self-validation negates the need for it from anyone else. English Winglish will be available on epsilonspires.org from March 5th onwards. There will be a Zoom discussion on the film on March 13th at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. To register for the discussion, don't forget to RSVP on the page of the film. I look forward to hearing your views, experiences and observations of this film. See you in the virtual space. Namaste.